how to create this hairstyle. Hi everyone, I'm Eva Lorman, I'm a master and teacher of the beauty industry, so here go friends! Links to videos where I demonstrate how to achieve this haircut and coloring will be in the description. I washed my hair. I will use a three brush. The first brush is the tunnel vent brush, double sided. All information about the styling brushes is already on the channel and the link will be in the description. This side is for long hair and this is for short hair. The short bristles are for adding root volume while the long bristles are for giving direction to the hair. Next are two round brushes, one with a larger diameter and the other with a smaller diameter. And we'll also need a hair dryer, preferably with an attachment. Let's go! It might seem like there is nothing to dry here, but that's only on one side. The thing is, when we style short hair, if you don't know how to dry such haircuts, you can over dry the hair. To avoid that, I will now show you what I do and um, what you should avoid doing. I dry short hair without using a comb, letting it fall freely until it's partially dry. I remove the concentrator nozzle. The professional name for this attachment is a concentrator. I turn on the hair dryer holding it vertically. Let's begin. I dried the crown area. Now I am drying this section in the opposite direction of hair growth. While the hair is damp, we are not using the comb. Now I take this brush and add root volume, putting on the concentrator. To set the volume, you need to cool down the hair with the hair dryer or just it like this for a while. The hair has cooled down and now I am combing it and the volume doesn't decrease. While the hair is still hot, you should hold them in this direction to set them. Only then can you comb them out. I am not touching the bangs for now. I am creating the framework for this hairstyle. Now I am using the brush with a larger diameter. I will be working with the longer hair. Now we need to slightly straighten them out. It's important to note that I am not constantly blowing the hair dry onto the brush. No, I head up the brush and then remove the hair dryer. The hot brush will retain the temperature for a while. There is no need to constantly blow the hair dry onto the hair. If 
you constantly blow the hair dry onto the hair, you will over dry them. A continuous application of hot air can damage the hair, causing it to become frizzy, split, thin, lifeless and dull. It's enough to simply head the brush and the temperature will be sufficient to partially dry the hair, straighten them and give them the right shape. I've created the main shape. Now I need to add volume on the sides. I will be using a small diameter brush for that. With such hairstyles, it's uh, preferable to leave not just the crown backward, but specifically this part of the hair. To achieve a great hairstyle look, it's important to leave the hair located in the crown area. The hair located on the bangs should lay on the forehead. You can also style this haircut like this. Beauty! Return back! Without bangs, you can also style these hair strands here. Three brushes, a hair dryer, 10 minutes of magic and the hairstyle is ready. I hope the video is useful for you. Subscribe to the channel, just click on the bell and I will make a video for you on this channel and show you all the subtleties of a master and teacher of the beauty industry. Bye bye everyone, Yeva Lorman was with you. See you in more new videos. Hey people, get together, like it and subscribe. I will be with you forever, feel the beauty vibe. Half to cut and half to dye. Hairdresser, yo, it's mine. Don't forget to press the bell, you will love it.